Hey guys, so I'm back with another quick haul and I just want to say sorry because in my last video I said that I'd be posting a blog post about all the products in that video and I'd have more in-depth pictures and so on and my camera's dead and I just haven't really thought to charge it every time I think oh, I need to do that I always forget so I'm really just useless um, but I've decided now it's kind of a bit late so I'm not going to bother but if there's anything from that video that you guys want to see a more in-depth look at or review on let me know and I'll do a post about that or a video about that product um, and same for this video I may be doing a blog post about the products in it but I haven't decided yet so you can check my blog if you want to find out it's up to you really so anyway I've got three products that are kind of miscellaneous I guess and then I have products from the new MAC collections. So first of all is a blush from Sleek and this was from the Mediterranean collection and it's the blush in Santorini and I couldn't find this anywhere and one day I was just walking past Superdrug and I saw it through the window and I was like that's mine because it was the last one and it's crazy colourful, wait till you see this. So it's even brighter than that in real life, like I can't even explain how bright it is and I'm very fair so this is going to have to be used with a very gentle hand but I'm still glad I got it. Next up I picked up um, a set of the Body Shop Shimmer Cubes. I've never had these before but I was really interested to try them out and I got them in palette 6 and these are just really really beautiful ones. Basically there's a deep brown, a um, gold colour, a champagne colour and a kind of taupey brown this one is dark chocolate, this one is honeycomb, this one is marshmallow and this one's choc chip and they're really beautiful and what I like about these is that, ignore my nails, is that you can take them out and they're little cubes hence the name, shimmer cubes and you pull the lid off and there's your product and I think that's just really quite cute because you can just take one with you in your makeup bag if there's just one you're using for a specific look so next up I got one of the Lauren Luke makeup brushes. Now I love Lauren Luke, I think she's a real inspiration to pretty much any woman. You don't even really have to be into makeup to be inspired by her because this woman just, you know, she created a name for herself and now she started her own business. I really enjoyed her makeup palettes and I just thought I really wanted to try her makeup brushes and I was in suspense for them for so long, it felt like forever and finally they came out and I picked up the most unique one because um, I have quite a lot of makeup brushes already so I picked up her foundation brush and it comes looking like this it's really sturdy it's got this nice kind of shiny handle that says Lauren Luke um, the neck of the brush is actually pink I don't think you can really see that but it is pink it's not silver and then this is the foundation brush it's synthetic hair but it feels just so soft and it's domed if you can see that it's not just your typical flat foundation brush, it's domed, so this would be great for like blushes, highlighters, cream blushes, just cream more powder products really, anything. And so I like that, that it can be used for multi-purpose um, things and it's really soft, feels really good quality. I played with this a lot and it hasn't shed or anything like that. Also I've been wanting to get a foundation brush like this for the longest time and they're really expensive and this one was really reasonably priced. Okay, so on to the MAC stuff. A few collections currently released. Um, I picked up some things from the Fashion Flower and the Precious Gems. Semi Precious Gems, or whatever. I don't know. Collections. And Fashion Flower came out in America, I think, like a month ago or three weeks ago or something like that. And it came out just this week in England and maybe Europe, I'm not sure, but I think that's just ridiculous because it's obvious that it was just being sold late here to make more net, more money so it's coming out at the same time as the semi-precious gems and that just takes the mick in my eyes but anyway, I picked up both of the beauty powders and they come in compact I, I like these, I think they're really nice they're just kind of the typical sleek MAC packaging and it says beauty powder and yeah it's all nice. It has a mirror in there, which is always useful. But the one thing I'd say is that I really like getting beauty powders with the special packaging. And these two collections, none of them have special packaging. They have special embossments on the actual product, but no special packaging. And I remember when MAC was all about the special packaging, which I kind of 
suckered in for. But anyway, suckered in for a real thing. Oh well. So I got Light Sunshine, which is this really light colour. It's actually kind of a light, light pink, almost white. My camera's showing it as white, but it's more of a light pink. And it has this beautiful design on it, and it'd just be a really nice highlight shade, I think. Then I picked up Alpha Girl, which I believe came out in the Heverette collection, which I never got to, unfortunately. And yet again, it has the same really nice design. And this is kind of a light, corally, peachy pink. It's just nice. And it's a bit deeper of a colour than it's showing on my cam, as usual. There we go. It's really, really pretty. I really like it. It is very sheer. And as you can see, the flowers already started to rub off where I swatched it. But it is a really nice... Oh, we've lost the colour. Oh well. It is really nice, and despite the fact that it's quite sheer and you have to go a bit heavy-handed with it, I like that it's kind of a light flush of colour because all my blushes are really too pigmented on my skin. So I look forward to this. I think this can be a nice everyday colour for me. And then I picked up Everhip lipstick. Everyone was raving about Everhip coming back so I wanted to try it out and it's this really nice coral and when I saw it in the tube it does still look beautiful but I thought that's going to be a bit too crazy for my skin tone but it's really really nice um, and it looks nothing like that it's just this really nice kind of corally colour so then from the semi precious gems collection I got one of the mineralized blushes and I got it in warmth of coral usually I always go for the pink shades this time I went for this one because I've been looking around for kind of a peach blush and I can't find a good one anywhere. If anyone has any recommendations, please let me know. I'm desperate right now. And I tried this today, actually. It's quite nice, but it is still a bit too orangey toned, which I guess makes sense because it's called Warmth of Coral. It's showing up more pink on my camera. It's not pink. It's kind of orange with... It's kind of peachy orangey, actually, with kind of yellow uh, veining. So last up I got two of the MSFs and I'm debating going back for a third but I haven't decided yet. So first of all, I'm really disappointed that the MSFs um, have less product in them now. MAC have reduced them, so let me just show you guys. This one's the first one which is Semi Precious Pearl, which is a nice kind of champagne-y golden colour with kind of browny, browny burgundy, goldy veining in the centre and that it's just purely in the centre to kind of look like a gem obviously because semi-precious gem um, this one I was disappointed on purely because the central bit it's really really small which I guess is good because the colour is a bit too dark for my skin tone but it's kind of like being a little bit greedy there Mac anyway there it is let's try this white balance thing again This MSF has 6.5 grams of product, and this is an old MSF, this is Stereo Rose, and this has 10 grams. Like, what's, what's going on? I don't understand why that was changed. Anyway, next up is my favourite one, and this is Semi Precious Rose Quartz, and it is a beautiful pink colour with green, gold, and pink veining in the middle and uh, I'm really sorry for having to hold up this bit of paper but it just seems to help um, stop the camera washing out the colour too much ok so that was everything I got I hope you guys enjoyed if you watched and I will speak to you all soon bye